This is for the 2007 or multiple Suzuki bikes, the Jigsters that have the set valve. So I'm in the process of removing that right now. Um, as you can see down here, I have taken my exhaust off currently, so this is open. This is the set valve thing in the jigger by these wires, which go up to the back of the fairing here, connected to this gyro, and that swivels back and forth. So when you, I'm going to turn the key on now, and as you can see, there's close, open, and like a fourth closed for idle. Um, you can see, uh, I'll turn the key on again right now, and there you can see those wires going again. And I'll show you on the gyro. Okay, I'll turn the key on now. Okay, so now you can see what it looks like. Um, so we're going to take that out, uh, disconnect these wire. We'll, uh, you want to turn the key on and then wait, like, till that valve is open. Um, so then you can disconnect the wires from this guy. So once I get that removed, I will play some more video for you. Hang in there. All right, so now that we got the two bolts removed here, this will be able to drop down. And then what you're wanna gonna do is unplug this and unplug that. And the next thing, once we do that, is you wanna loosen these uh, little nuts here and get those unscrewed a little bit so these can slide out and then this wire can come undone. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, and since then there's two plugs we had to get rid of, so that drops that down there. Also, I forgot to mention, um, you need to get rid of these guys. That guy there, and there's a guy right there. So once we get that, this whole piece should come off, and then this wire will come undone. So let me go ahead and take care of that real quick. All right, everybody, so we got this guy. We got this guy right here taken out. Um, so then we got this thing and this thing so now we can get rid of those these guys so give me a second to do that all right so those guys are officially removed um, the valve is still open if you can see and now the process begins of getting these out of here um, you're probably going to want to lift your gas tank up um, like that so you can actually feed it through down there and get rid of it get it all the way up here and pull that gyro out so give me a sec to do that all right so all the wires are gone and we got the gyro uh, removed and we got the wires down here removed and make sure when you do this you have that valve when you turn the key make sure that's open uh, the whole the whole time make sure that's open before you start also there's the parts right there uh, the next step you want to do is you want to go to the computer or the thingy-mabobber. You see those two big plugs. Um, you're going to want to unplug the black one there and pull him out. So use a flathead screwdriver to get him out. And we need to unplug one of the wires, uh, pin 30. So let me go ahead and get that guy out of there. The reason why you do that is so this light, uh, some red light or something, so it doesn't come on. So... Let me get that guy out so I can get a better picture for you. So, be back shortly. Okay, so once you get that black guy unplugged, what you want to do is locate pin 30. So, they're marked back here from 1 to 17 and 18 to 34. So, just count 5 back from, or not 5, but uh, you know what I mean. Um, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, and that's black with brown or brownish greenish stripes, but there's another one next to it that's there, but don't mess with that one, so make sure you cut pin 30, and after that, you should be done, put everything back together, um, turn the bike on, make sure that light doesn't show up, and it's a done deal, so enjoy the new throttle response as everybody uh, claims and smoother rides so give it a shot all right see you later